Welcome to Elevate Vocal. Today, I'm going to be talking about the science of singing. Your lungs, when, when you're not singing just like this, and then when you inhale, the lungs become bigger. And then when you exhale, the air blows over your vocal cords. So, your lungs, after you've inhaled, and from exhaling, the air blows over the vocal cords. Your vocal cords are like a pair of tissue. Not big, very small, like between 17 mm, 25 mm long, depending whether it's a male or female singer. So just like your vocal cords can be long, longer than this. Okay. So once the air blows over them, they begin to vibrate just like this band. The higher the pitch, the more they vibrate against one another. And you need more hair for them to vibrate faster. So you need more hair for higher pitches. The higher you go, the more the hair you, you need for it to vibrate very fast. The vibrations depend on the pitch. For a male vocalist that doesn't have so much of a range like a female vocalist, the vocal cords can vibrate up to 100, 120 times in a second. For female singers, can vibrate up to 220, 250 times in a second. Imagine your vocal cords vibrating 200 times in one second to produce high pitch. You need a lot of hair. So when the hair from your lungs blow over them, it vibrates. So, that's why air is very important. They also stretch. Your vocal cords can stretch as you're going. The more you sing, the higher your pitch. They don't vibrate alone. They also stretch. Now, when your vocal cords is overstretched, that's when you have sore throat, all these issues with, with singing. And you want to be careful because the way the voice works, there are three areas of sound production. We have the activators, we have the resonators, we have the articulators. Your activators are your lungs, your vocal cords, the glottis, the pharynx, and this place is where the sound production starts. So when you inhale, Sound is not made until you exhale. So you exhale, then sound can be made. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And you, so as a singer, you want to consciously inhale. Not just the normal hair that you use for talking. You want to fill your lungs to sing so that you can be able to do all the pitches and all the notes and all these things. You want to be able to do them um, very, very well, okay? The vocal cords are not enough to make your sound big. That's why we call them the activators. It's part of the, the group of activators. You need your resonators. Your aura cavity, the, the space inside your mouth, your nasa cavity, the space behind your head, and your chest dome. All these um, organs are responsible for resonating your sound. And a resonator is just like when you cup your hand into, you know, <clears throat> I'm making a sound like, oh. So if you direct your sound to your chest, it's going to have a kind of color. If you direct it to the space behind your head, it's going to have, you're going to have head voice. Then the, the space inside your mouth, which is called the aura cavity, creates its own, you know, roundness. Just like cupping your hand. Oh, 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 so the sound can change, become bolder. 
So for volume, your vocal cords is not strong enough to give you volume. If you you if you put too much tension in the vocal cords, you pressurize your throat too much when singing. It means you are forcing your vocal cords to do the work of other parts, which is the part of the resonators, and you are going to damage it. That's why you want to develop diaphragmatic breathing. So you want to do like <clears throat> oh, that pressure, you apply it and your voice comes out. So your voice is not just air, comes from air. You cannot use your vocal cords to project your voice. It's not the vocal cords that does the job. It is your resonators. And that's why you need the diaphragmatic breathing. So as a singer, you don't need the regular breathing. Ah, okay, let me just breathe. You need to take in the breath. Fill up your lungs and put a lot of tension. The kind of tension you put when you've eaten something solid and you want to let it out. That's how the tension is ought to be. For you to have a lot of volume. So you push from here and of course you open, you now open your resonators up which includes your mouth dome. For you to have loudness, your mouth needs to be open wide plus um, the larynx has to drop. And then you now direct the sound to all those spaces. Your mouth, you know, it takes time. You know, we call this vocal placement in, um, in voice training. Okay? So the third one is the articulator. Articulator deals with clarity of the words that you're saying. And this involves your teeth, your lips, your tongue, your alveolar ridge. You know, that the ceiling of your mouth, the palate. Without those, you won't be clear. So as a singer, you need to learn how to, you know, direct your tongue to the right place for each consonant sound. All right. So those are the three areas of sound production, the activators, the resonators, the articulators, the three needs to be mastered for you to have a total voice. Okay. The next one is about pitch and range. Let me show this. So we have these two pipes. Female larynx is just like the little pipe, okay? Male larynx is like the bigger pipe. That is how God created us. In rare occasions, you will see female singers with a brother larynx. So because the larynx is big, that's why we men have this, okay? Men have this because of the big, big larynx. Women have smaller larynx. And in the science of singing, the bigger the pipe, the louder the volume, the bigger the pipe, the deeper the pitch. So this pipe is smaller. It is not as loud as this pipe. It is also higher in pitch than this pipe. And that's why you see instruments like recorder, flute, soprano, saxophone, wind instruments with smaller pipes, they have higher pitches. Instruments with bigger pipes produce louder sounds and deeper sound. It's the science. So there are some things that cannot change. When it comes to the voice anatomy, things like this cannot change. They can't. You only need to now maximize the potential of this big pipe or the potential of this smaller pipe. All right. And this is not an excuse for you not to develop your range. Whether you are a female singer, you must sing an average of three octaves. If you are not up to three octaves, you need you have work to do. Same thing goes for male singers. Every singer must be able to sing a very high pitch a very low pitch within their range. Every singer must be able to project and sing loud. 
you must be able to sing soft when you want to sing soft. So singing is all about control. There's nothing like, oh, this, uh, this, this is how my voice is. My voice is, uh, is not loud. No, every voice can be loud. Every voice can be soft. So you have the control over the loudness. The only thing is the loudness of this will not be as huge as the loudness of this. Elevate Vocal Academy is for singers who want to improve in their singing. You want to do better as a singer or you have some challenges that are really bothering you. Maybe you lose your voice easily. It could be that you go off key when you sing. Maybe you go off beat. Uh, you are not utilizing your optimal pitch as a singer and you want to correct this. Maybe you don't know how to harmonize whenever someone is singing and someone tells you to sing, oh, can you sing the alto or sing the tenor? You don't know how to go about it. Or maybe you just want to help yourself so you can help others. You want to learn more about music. Yeah, this is why we have Elevate Vocal Academy. The Elevate Vocal Academy starts officially August 27, 2023. All you need to do is go to the website, create an account and subscribe. Uh, for Elibet, you're going to get discounts. We update our courses on a monthly basis and there are a lot of things that you enjoy for subscribing. You have one-on-one -on -one sessions, there's mentorship session. We have accountability sessions where we, you know, speak with you and see how you are progressing, you know, in your journey. And a lot of things that you gain on this site. So do not forget to go to www.elevatevocal.academy. Follow our pages, Elevate Vocal, um, subscribe and turn on notifications. So this is your science of singing. See you next time.